Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we'd like to welcome you back to the 18th annual Derby City Classic. It is uh, hosted by the Horseshoe Casino in Southern Indiana, produced by Diamond Billiard Products of New Albany, Indiana. Nine days of action, three days of uh, banks, three days of one pocket, three days of nine ball, and we're into day number nine. The winner of the first main was uh, Mr. John Brunbeck uh, from Owenton, Kentucky. Second place was Jason Shaw from Glasgow, Scotland. The second main event was one pocket. It was won by Mr. Peggy Lyon. And second place, Niels Fahan from the Hague in Holland. In the nine ball, 406 players started the tournament. We have three gentlemen left uh, still in the tournament with only one uh, player has a rebuy. Uh, there's a $20,000 bonus for whoever ends up with the most points after all three events are played. And uh, leading in the points and locked in is uh, Mr. Paggy Lyon as the all-around champion. At least that's what he says. Without uh, further ado, y'all ready for some nine ball? Okay, our first gentleman is uh, sponsored on tour by Q Tech Qs. Four times he's won the U.S. Open nine ball championships, two time World Pool Masters champion, twice he's won at the Derby City Classic all around. He's the only one left with a rebuy. Please welcome from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Mr. Shane Van Boning. Thank you. And his opponent is sponsored on tour by Puyat Sports, player representative for Ariel Carmeli Cues, Le Spot, and check him out on alexpigalion.com. He's our defending champion. He's from the Republic of the Philippines. He resides in Canada. A warm welcome, please, for our world all-around champion, Alex Pegulion. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, you may lag for the first break. <laughs> Dennis Orculo is still in business. Hello everybody, semi-final action here in the nine ball event of the Derby City Classic. This match is between Shane Van Boning and Alex Pagulion. Mark Wilson, Danny DiLiberto on the call. And Danny, you got any uh, comments well, here to open? Besides Shane playing so well and breaking so well, he just froze the ball on the lag almost. And he won the lag, of course. But Alex, as maybe the people don't know it, he has finished high enough in the nine ball to win the all-around prize money. Well, no wonder he's uh, extra chipper tonight. Yeah, he's smiling. He's got like 20,000 more in his kick. Yeah, that's a bonus. Van Boning has been practicing the lag religiously for the last year. We talked about it. He realizes how important it is and has applied himself to that, and he's been winning the majority of his lags. And check this out, Danny. Two ball in the corner pocket. It's going to hop twice on the bed of the table. Right here it is. Very nice break. In the pre-match analysis, uh, looking forward to this, the, the one offsetting uh, area of excellence was Van Boning's break is overwhelming and makes up for some of the other maybe uh, small shortcomings or deficits that he might have when we face and measure. Alex Peggy Lyon's skill set to Shane Van Bonings. This is tricky to start with. The balls are not sitting real good. Right. The four is a problem, and the one to the three right here is a problem. Of the last three matches that Van Bonings played on this table, he broke and ran five games in a race to nine, four games in a race to nine, and five games in a race to nine. Tough to beat. That's a good opening chat right there. Yes, it is. If it keeps going, it oh, did. Oh, boy. He got perfect. I think he can top spin down and come up between the nine and the four here pretty naturally. Yep. Shoot the poor up the far corner. So much for that problem. Well, I don't think he maybe can. Maybe he's, I don't know. Oh, he's he'll done have him. a shot. Oh, he is. Yeah, he could. Okay. Couldn't tell the way he was cueing it.
These elite players have really refined nine ball to a science. So much more sophistication with the play, and particularly with the kicking game, the breaking game, strategy. These balls are perfunctory now. And Shane Van Boning, SVB, opens the match with a break and run out. That's a nice start. Van Boning wins game number one. He leads the match one to zero. Dennis Arcolo waiting in the wings to play the winner. No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. They'll draw again. If Alex wins, they'll draw again. If Shane wins, it'll be with Arcola. This time the six ball's on the wing. Ooh, cue well, ball. The cue ball Bouncing. almost went in. The cue ball got away. He made a couple two. balls, yeah. He doesn't have a good shot on the one. I think he can hit it. We'll be looking at a safety play. Oh, he's pushing. He didn't want to try to hit it with the cue ball over the five. Well, I'm pretty certain that Alex will accept this push out. You think he'll play safe or shoot? I think he might try to shoot. Seven balls hanging in the far corner pocket. Could reach it with a bank. Could also cut the one ball in. Well, he's deciding which way to cut it. He's going to give it back. So I was wrong. This will be interesting, though. I don't blame him for giving it back. Position no. is tough. And safety is real tough here. I think Shane's going to have to shoot. Yeah, he definitely will. It's easier to take this shot on, though, when you're forced to play it as opposed to you have a decision to not have to play it. Might run into the three. He's back cutting it. Oh, he wouldn't run into the other shot. Well, he's got another tough one. He's over the <laughs> five this time. That's right where it ended when he broke and he pushed out from there, remember? But you can't push out now. No. In the old days, you could. If he could just somehow make this, but I'm not even sure he's playing it. But if he could make it, then he'd have some options. He did. Now he can cut it all the way down in the far corner if he wants to. Yep. I don't think shooting in the straight uh, into the side would be that productive because I'm I don't feel like he can get enough position on the five ball. No, you're right. If he can make this uh, seven ball. The four might be right there, and that'll make position to the five automatic. Gonna roll it. He didn't make it. He missed the ball. It wasn't exactly a hanger, though. Oh, no, I mean, it wasn't, it was a... but it's still a shock. <laughs> right. When this guy misses. A big portion of the reason that he missed it was that he did not play it to the fat side of the pocket because he didn't want the four ball to roll rail first off the seven. Well, Alex is going to tie the match, I believe. Alex just came off a heartbreaking loss. He was hill hill with our cool on the outside arena table. He had a long, tough shot that uh, he was considering slightly elevating, got down on the ball. A fan turned on a flash a couple times. He collected himself, got up, but missed. And the fan was fairly embarrassed and left before the conclusion of those last four or five balls. Uh, to Alex's credit, though, he didn't blame anyone but himself. 
One to one is our score, Peggy Lyon and Van Bonen. Look at the bleachers up there. They're, they're filled. Oh, I just walked through the arena. Yeah, tremendous crowd on hand. This is what my wife, Karaoke Kathy, always says. If you don't like this, there must be something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex's not going to opt to break from where Shane does. Three balls, his wing ball. Nine ball, almost got to the pocket. Something go in, the eight. It did, straight in on the one. That was a big ball to Paul. Oh yeah, yeah. Whoever gets this first shot from here is gonna be the big favorite to win this game. Yeah, a little weak, but he's okay. I think he can hit the end rail. I don't like going around this ball. But he did it. Did he run into this? No, he got there. Very nice shot. He got there with the right angle to go from the three to the four. I mean, we always admire and gush over Alex's game, and he's been here for a long time, but he's still a young man. Yes, but, he is. But uh, sometimes it's in more in Shane's control because he just shut down anybody. It doesn't matter how well you're playing, you just don't get enough turns. I don't see a little bit of trouble here. Except he could have got better in <laughs> yeah. this. Looks a little thin here now. He could have slid yeah, all the way extreme over. Extreme angle, too. Good shot. Alex getting out here. And Peggy Lyon now has a break and run out to his credit. Leads the match two games to one. He was losing 6 nothing to Orkola over there. And it wound up Hill Hill. You know, it's quite a plus for uh, Johnny Mora to have someone like Alex around to play against and practice and train with. They don't practice, they gamble. Well, you know what I mean. I know what you mean, Spar exactly, yeah. yeah. Alex gives him the seven. But it's still quite a plus to have someone around that can oh, it give is, you that kind definitely. of a... Oh, it is, definitely. Oh, went to Shane's spot. The nine on the break. The three in the wing went in. Three ones our score. Alex Peggy Lyon in front. Well, if Alex wins, we're going to have three matches. If he loses, there'll be one more.
six balls the wing ball. Wing ball went in like a bullet. He's found the sweet spot. Is he going to get a shot? I don't think so. Oh, two got him. No place to push. Push out. Now, if you give Shane a shot at the one, he'll probably make it. And if he doesn't have a shot, he'll put you behind the five. So I think the best move here is for Alex to roll to a jump. I don't know if he's a jumper. Oh, he'll get the worst of this push. You know, it's like I said, if he pushes where he's aiming, Shane will have a pretty good safe to put him on the five. I still think you got to push where you jump. Mr. Van Boning has the option. That's a good shot. Yeah. Anything else, he would have got the worst of it for sure. Well, Shane's already passed it back without even exiting his chair. Got a bank. And he's got a safe, which he executed. Maybe not. I think he left the one in the side. I don't know. That's a little past the side. That'd be an awful thin cut. It is, but he's he's got it. And he's definitely playing well enough, and that's about where you'd have to hit it. That's all the bigger piece. You oh, now he's looking at maybe banking the one. That would be a bank for safe, I think, as opposed to the pocket. That was a... a um, Positive move there for Alex Baggy Lion. That was an oh shot. Yeah, he had the nine going towards the pocket. I don't think that was much in the plan there. Alex is grinning. He's got a chance to go ahead four to one. I think he's going to play safe. No, he's shooting the ball. No, he isn't. I thought the one passed the corner. I better shut up, Mark. I thought the one went in the far corner, but I guess not. Uh, fairly effective save. It'll force him to jump or kick. <coughs> He's jumping. He's hitting the air. Jumped it too well. Jumped over it. Yep. A long time since we've seen Shane Van Boning trailing in any set that we've covered him on. You're, right. I'm You're absolutely to think, right. I'm trying to think back. Maybe with Jason Shaw on the Bigfoot 10 ball tournament was about the only one I remember for sure. That's why he lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wound up trailing too. <laughs> oh, Peggy Lyon. Has won the one pocket and the all around the last two years. And he still could win the nine ball. 
Yeah, that's right. I don't think anyone's won the all around twice in a row, but I might be wrong about that. Yeah, I don't remember anybody. I, I, I think I'm right. Yeah, certainly, I don't remember that at all. Alex coming around three cushions nicely. You and I both have implicit faith that Alex can beat anyone, provided that he gets a shot. And we were worried that Shane yeah. Van Boning might not even give him a shot. He's got some shots. You always say how much heart he has, and it is ever so true. Yep. He's, He's the fighter. He's not intimidated by the event, the money, or his opponent. It, uh, certainly not the harshness of the equipment, because he has a maximum on a 6x12 snooker table. So yeah. not too worried about that either. Yeah, he uses the bridge real well. He gets a lot of practice playing snooker with it. Looks like maybe he's just going to roll this in ever so lightly. Now he's going to reconsider. It's kind of iffy. If he goes that way, then the cue ball's got to go to the end rail on the next shot. Ooh. That scared me, and I'm not afraid of anything. Yeah, he didn't get real good on it, but mm -mm. I imagine he'll make it. Wow. <laughs> he shoots straight. Yeah, that's some good heart there. When you put yourself there, it plays so much tougher. 4-1 is our score. Peggy Lyon on top of Shane Van Bonen. And so he got penalized for that. Oh, well, uh, He's the, still what, shooting 962. The only error that Peggy Lyon has made is on the push out when he gave it back to Shane and Shane pocketed the ball. Or Joseph Stalin of statistics calls that an error. The other guy made an unbelievable shot. But anyway, it's fairly applied across the board. And that is, yeah, we're tough. I'll we'll hand out thousands uh, TPAs for nothing. This time the five ball on the wing for Peggy Lyon as he breaks. Nine ball came out to the corner pocket a couple times, came out again. Is this a dry break, Danny? Yeah, it is. It is. It's, I think it's going to be a fast game, although the nine is not tripping. Yeah, I don't think he'll play the combination, but it does assist the one ball going in if he hit it reasonably well. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to play the nine. We don't think. 
Oh, here on the overhead, the, the one going in isn't all that easy either. Let's see what Shane Van Boney thinks. Yeah, he's just going to play the one. Boy, that's rare. He went right in it. Yeah, he overcut the pocket just a hair, and that was enough. Oh, he's not liking it too much. No. <laughs> the Peggy Lyons had more opportunities to miss that than Mamboni's last two opponents had. Oops. Is he playing pool or pitching? <laughs> He's warming up. Okay. Uh-huh. He didn't go far enough. No, I'm going to tell you what happened there. The cue ball clung or hopped just a little bit. I don't know if it was skid. on the spot or it something. It was a skid caused by chalk or the spot where he's at but it did hop a little bit oh this is terrible he had a pretty easy layout rail first trying to make it missed it by a hair Had Peggy Lyon not cued the ball so low, had it hopped, the skew ball still would have had a little bit of spin to it to move it forward. He cued it low, hoping to get enough cloth and do top spin on there, and he didn't when he grabbed. Good very, shot. very nice recovery shot. See, he thinks this is positioned. I don't. Yeah. I would never have played for that. Never a doubt either. Mm -mm. No, it thumped the back of the pocket. And Boney now has two. Trails in the match 4-2. Shane Van Boning looking to introduce the four ball to the corner pocket. Hello, oh. corner pocket. Uh oh, look at the nine getting down there. No, he might get some kind of a bared position. Well, I don't know if he could shoot this inside stream angle, but the two is right there. Yeah, I don't think he could. I think it's just too risky. Yeah, a pretty extreme angle. He's got a pretty easy safe. Yeah, 
Yeah, I sort of feel like if he just shoots it just a little past the side pocket and then go to the end rail and then let it bounce back up away from the end rail. Yep, just like this. And then let that, that makes it a very small ball. Referee's got Smith right on the scene because this could be a potential close hit. Very important that when you look at this type of a hit, you consider what the ball reactions would be if it minutely hit one ball first versus the other ball first. Two rail kicking. Not hitting. Not even close. Hmm. It was a little surprising there that he clipped that ball as firmly as he did. He got away with it. I agree with you. I was. I didn't think it was the right thing. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that's what he was trying to do. I think he might have been trying to dislodge the three a little bit and went thin. side now from the seven watch out Boning three, Peggy line four. Van Boning wins game number seven. Seven games. Scores Mr. Peggy line four, Mr. Van Boning three. Peggy line playing 900, Van Boning 848. Still early in the match, those figures subject to great change. Balls in. He will check up nice. One ball went to the pocket that he wanted to go to. The five is tied up a little bit. With the seven, he may be able to influence that into the corner pocket as a uh, throw shot or combination if he gets to that point. Yeah, he just took a look at what angle he needs mm -hmm. on the three to go one rail at those. He's going to have to go up a ways to get that angle. I think he's straight. I don't think he can do anything with that. Maybe the five goes in the side. Yeah, if he can get back behind it, you can see there's yeah, a hint of a don't have to hit it. there. And here okay. on this view, it's a perfect view on the three to see that the five and seven, eh, that's not really lined up good enough, I don't think. Oh, he overshot it. Oh, he's got the four first. He, he didn't overshoot it, Mark. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to double check this to see if he could throw it in. That would be huge. That would make position play so much easier than trying to draw back exactly two and a half diamonds. And he's got a small target. But I think that's what he's going to have to go with here. Yeah, position. No, no. Little weak. Really anything but that. You'd rather go too much draw than not enough. This You're right, it, Mark. Yeah. It makes it very hard to defend yourself from here. He's got a pretty good safe. He was able to hit a little more of it than I thought. Yeah, I don't think he got him. Maybe he did. That was a reasonable effort, that's for sure. Like you said, he has a chance to get safe there. Looks like Alex going right at it. Oh, he's got a shot. No doubt about it. Oh, no. He didn't have a shot. And he sold out. So. I thought for sure he was shooting at the ball, but he was kicking. Gene has earned himself another inning in this game. Good shot. Yeah, real good shot. He's got the angle now to go to the seven. He's got a good little angle on this to go to the eight. Yeah, now he has no need for angles. He can just stop or draw back a little bit. After a great safety, Shane Van Boney wins the game, ties the match four apiece. We're having a break. Okay, everybody, we will be right back. Five ball on the wing. This is a race to five now. We're going to nine. Oh, the wing ball did not go in. The eight ball did. Is he going to get uh, maybe a thin shot? He's got a shot. He's looking to see if it goes off of the uh, six ball. Is that the seven? That's the se uh, seven ball, yeah. Yeah, it's the seven. I think it goes in. Got to cut it a little bit backwards, but I think it goes in. He's looking to see it. I think it goes. And how do you get position for the two if you shoot that? If you shoot that, um, then you have to play position for the two in such a way that you're probably not going to get safe should the one miss. So you're kind of yep. betting a lot on this carom. I think it goes in, though. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't play any carom. He played the cue ball in the pocket. Boy, there's a good break for you, Alex. <laughs> I what? thought he was playing the carom. He wound up cutting it in and going straight in the corner pocket with the cue ball. You know, it's kind of unusual, though, is that the cue ball was tracking fairly slowly towards the corner pocket. And Shane dropped his hand in the pocket and waited while it fell in. He wouldn't have had a good position anyway. No, not at all. So I think that indicates that he was planning on uh, maybe either running into the four ball or playing safe and overcutting that ball and hit it too fat. That's how good he's playing. He tried to miss and he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. I've seldom had that trouble. Well, it's nice for Alex to come to the table like this. Yeah, and he didn't get behind. He's, it's still 4-4. Four, four. But he got a little bad roll earlier. He would have been winning 5-1. That ball didn't skid. Alex's uh, last name is Peggy Lion. He's wearing his nickname on his back, The Lion. And that's because he has the heart of a lion. Yeah, he definitely has that. <laughs> Good stuff here. Each mistake is punished for at least one rack. Thank you, Lion 5, and Boning 4. Alex is requesting that Shane come up and inspect the rack. Just because the nine's been coming out of there, Alex is mentioning it's come out of there three times. Yeah, the balls have been racking uh, perfectly, except today. Well, we're starting to get some wear on these tables. There's been a lot of racks played, and John Brumbach brought out a good point. The reason there's less wear on these, this table is that for four days, we had a 10-footer here. I had forgotten to consider that point, but it was certainly valid. Sixth ball is the wing ball. That's the one that's been going in the most frequently. Well, oh, 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 oh. Alex really Where are popped you, one? him. Where are you? There you are, one. Well, he can go at the five and shoot two up the far corner. Yeah, right. You don't want to mess with that combination if you don't have to. 
Yeah, I think he can go right at the five. That will get him position. Perfect. It's going to be a little tough going from the three to the four now. Oh boy. He popped out of there with a lot of velocity and the ball he was missed not... it though he overcut it a hair oh no I, i'm not saying that yeah he didn't hit the pocket that's the reason it rejected it if you hit that pure it goes right down but when you add that extra velocity it's a longer swing and then your accuracy somewhat diminished chain rubbed the two into the side Now two cushion position back for the four. Don't get straight. Yeah, he overdid it. No doubt Again. about it. <laughs> He's gonna have to pop this a little bit. Not as difficult as the ball Alex tried to hit, but still, you can miss that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get into that one quite as good as he wanted. That was a super shot there. Sure was. The speed was the part that was super. This nine ball is all that stands in the way of Van Boning tying up the match. Five games apiece. Van Boning wins game number 10 after 10 games. The match is tied five games apiece. Get a good look at our TPA. 36 balls for Peggy Lyon, 45 Van Boning. 865, 878. Close match. You think 5-5 five, five is a close match? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> two ball disappeared. Yep. Got a combination at the 1-6, one, the 1-7. One, One six. No problem with that. Think he's got to go to the corner on the three. I don't think he could roll it soft enough. Well, he did too. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, he got good. Could have used another few inches there, but I think he's okay. Mm, 
Now, this will be interesting. I think he got pretty straight there. Yeah, and, was his stroke. He can go forward with a high, high ball, I think, mm -hmm. go two rails. Right. If he can't pound into the rail, one rail. I mean, here on the overhead, you can see it's fairly flat, and the, the angle kind of wants the cue ball to go towards the 8 and 9. Oh, he's going to pound it. Wow. Oh, look how effortless that was. Wow. He had more angle than we thought. Yeah, he made the most of that with he pure did. pocketing. He did. Hit the pocket. Awesome. Uh-oh. Good shot. That's well, what he was trying to do. He got a thin hit, but he'll make it. Oh, I think he's got a bank it, doesn't he? No, well, he... I think he can do either. I'm afraid thinning yeah. it in the cue ball is... Heading right into the side pocket or very near. Well, he'll need a little reverse or a little bit left hands, but he can cut this, I'm sure. But he's not sure. He's banking it. And not making it. Where are you going, cue ball? Alex is good at this sh shot right here. Funny match so far. Some unusual happenings. Hmm. Very. Uh, I'm absolutely dumbfounded that that scratch in the corner. I uh, mean, Shane's, he plays every day. That scratch is there every day. He never scratches. He didn't miss the bank grotesquely. He just yeah, missed it, it on the high side. It's, it's there every day, but it's nighttime. Oh. <laughs> is it there every night? I think it is. I'm just saying, that was, I mean, you would think he would just go for the center of the end rail. Well... You can talk about that, but the big mistake is not getting position without having to bank. And that sort of happened on the shot before when he powered up. It's got a little too much angle and had to go into the nine. Yep. Six five is our score. It's just a different six five than we thought. We thought it was going to be Van Boning in the lead, but instead it's Peggy Lyon. Now, Peggy Lyon shifted sides. He was so effective on the other side. This time the five ball on the wing. Five balls down the bottom of the pocket. One ball on the side. Another ball went in. He made three balls. And he's Two got nine. a combination on the nine. Yeah. I'm sure he'll shoot it. It's a very difficult combination, or at it's least semi. Thin. Yeah, semi difficult. But like Danny said, he should shoot it. He'll, he's going to shoot it. There's no doubt about it. Oh, does it go? It doesn't go off the seven. I know, but does it pass the seven? Definitely. Okay, then he's got it. I don't mean he's going to make it for sure, but... It's on, Chad. He'll shoot it. Good shot, but he, you know, he cut it too thin. He did. A little jacked bit up. less thin, he would have made that. Jacked up over the three now. That makes this shot uh, plenty tough. Plenty tough. Yeah, but he can win the game right here. He'll have to bank the three at the, at the nine if he makes this. This is no bargain. Yeah, I think he can lose the game easier than he can win it. Smooth. Oh, missed it on the way in. Oh, uh. boy. There was people here that said no rail, but that is not true because he kicked it uh, coming off the rail and the cue ball hit the rail. You heard somebody say n yep. no rail? I did. Boy, you got good ears. Right in the middle. Good shot. Close to the four. Now he's looking at the five.
so far, this is the worst match that Van Boning's played all day. Uh, I would say uh, all week. Uh, you think he might be getting tired? Yeah. I mean, how could you manage that pace the whole time? This wasn't a great shot either. Oh, boo. Huh? <laughs> no, that wasn't a great shot. This is a terrible shot. I mean, going too far would have been okay, because you could have still got here going too far, but coming up way short is... It was silly. That was like leaving the putt five foot short. Never had a chance, no matter what your line was. And he's, he's dangerous with the billiard because that ball is near the rail. And it figures to come off and hit the cue ball again before it billiards towards the nine. Oh, he's in trouble here. Well, you maybe cut it in anyway, but the cue ball's going to be plenty hot. And and it can hang up. He can miss hit it. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, he didn't cut it. Well, missed opportunity there. He could have went ahead a couple <laughs> games. That Alex was a, has been playing all day, too. He yeah, might be tired. Yeah. That was a big error coming up short on that position because there was really no excuse for it. Yep. Shane drops the seven. Perfect position on the eight. Nine's a gimme. Six, six is our score. Race to three now. Race to three, and I guess they'll do a redraw, or does Arcola just play in the next match for no no matter what because he had a buy in this match? I'm not sure. No, you got to draw again. There's been one time there was a change, I thought, where. Okay, yeah, we're informed that it is true. Arcola will definitely be playing in the next match. Yeah, they did change that years ago. Good idea. Yeah. Consecutive buys makes your tournament kind of a joke. All right. Two ball went in freely. Eight ball dropped in. Other balls out in the open. He's got a shot at the one. The match began with the score tied 0-0 zero, zero, and Van Boning broke and ran the first rack. Here the match is tied at six and Van Boning looking to break and run another rack. Yeah, he's going to play Oracola if he wins because Alex will be out. This will be his second loss. Shane takes an extra moment here. He doesn't want to let another game slip away. Did not hit that pure, Danny. Well, it's not on it. the table anymore. Right, but he did not get the position that he really was looking for. No, he would like to be fuller. I really do feel like, and I agree, I think fatigue has come in here a little bit. They're not quite as sharp as what we've seen them earlier in the day. been a long day, a long week. Right. Yeah, I've been here, I think this is my ninth day, or tenth day, Got here on Thursday. It's been a good dosage for sure. 
Good thing we love pool. It is. Unlike the players, you and I, our commentary is just getting better and better. <laughs> It's a nice time to break and run out, though. Reclaim the lead. Seven six is our score. SVB leading and breaking. Eight ball didn't go, but boy, it had some giddy up on it. The four went in. Oh, this is not a good cut shot. No, it's not a good layout. He could play the nine. He's going safe here. He's going to go thin. Well, he was playing it in the pocket. Yeah. I think Alex got a hit. That's all to take, yeah. If you can just see the edge of it. Yeah, but going to the two is a little bit tricky now. You know? That seven gets in the game here. Yeah. Gonna have to hop the edge of it, apparently. If he gets there, but go between them if you could. He played the nine, he played his wallet. Well, he didn't want to try to go to the two. Yep. And Boney's got a chance to get on the hill now. come down and take a look see he wants to get past that line yep on the other side of that anywhere would be okay to get to the seven short of that could be a problem so i think he'll play this and drag the cue ball up about a diamond short of the side pocket and let the spin to carry it on down table oh it's gonna be a little bit short danny is this, this is good this is good because yeah, now we get to see the dipsy doodle stroke here well, he's got a, an angle to go one rail. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think he does. In any event, but there was really no reason to come up short. Right. I don't understand that he should have introduced a little bit of right. I think he could go into the rail with left-hand English and get all the way down there. But he's a player, and he doesn't feel like that, or he would have got up and shot. Right? It looks obvious. It does. Oh, he's going to try to draw it three rails. And he did it pretty yeah. good. Good shot. That's called improvising. Hmm. <laughs> yep. 
You know, he's going to get on the hill if he closes out the rest of this. <laughs> That's a little 50 yardish. Mm -hmm. Might shoot this in the corner now. Good shot. Drained it. Very routine nine ball for his eighth win. Glides it into the pocket. Mamoni racking now and leading eight games to six. He's had eight successful breaks. Okay, what's the two nine doing? Bad. <laughs> hey, he likes to play position for a pre-planned safety and it kind of doesn't look like he can get it broke out. <clears throat> but... That's not easy either. Good shot. Just got to cut the two thin now. Go all the way downstream. Hmm. Yeah, hard to tell from here what he's intended to do. I think... Yeah, he's I think got you're right, that. he's cutting it, right? Yeah. Oh, he's hitting it heavy. Oh, he sold out. He sold out. You're right, fatigue is setting in because those are like... More routine errors. Yeah. yeah. So Alex is not done yet. He's run three racks a couple times, I you're think. You're right. Oh, that's a nice shot. It's perfect. <laughs> you can just see it tracking right on line the whole way. That was a relatively small area, too, and he got in there just effortlessly. Yeah, just a stop shot away, and then Pat Galayan would only need two games. Nice 
and that's just what it is. Peggy Lyon, seven. Ben Boning, eight. It looks like we're going to have a little short player timeout. Hey, everybody, we're back. The score is tied, or no, seven for Peggy Lyon, eight for Van Boning. Alex is breaking. He goes back to this side where the three ball goes in pretty freely into the corner pocket. Did not go. Two ball went down table. One ball got crossed across. Looks like he's going to get a shot. He did. He did. Well, that's big. Sure is. Getting to the three could be a problem. Yeah, he's going to have to make a real good shot. Yeah, he can hit it full enough to draw it. He, the corner pocket enters. Not enough speed. Yeah. Not enough speed. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that was peculiar. And he's going to have some thought here, so I want to mention a couple of our viewers, great friends of the sport. They're in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. Justin Brooks, Fred Yates. Thanks for looking in. Look at this oh, shot. Made it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's got a shot in the pipe. This would be spectacular if he runs out here. <laughs> He's laughing. Shane's not laughing that hard though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> this this could become hill hill if he pockets this ball. Oh, he made a great shot. Man, what a shot. shot. What a shot. Yeah, he's, he's got position, too. It, it's ever so hard to not pull for Alex uh, just because of his attitude. The last match, he lost Hill Hill, and the guy shines a camera light, flashlight, right in his face, right when he was trying to shoot yeah. a tough shot. That's he lost. what happened. He did not make an excuse. He did not complain. You know what he said? He told the guy, I told you to do it when he's shooting. <laughs> That's funny. Good shot. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, it'll be Hill Hill with Alex breaking. And the wing ball going in pretty often. Well, there you have it. Third break and run out of the match for Peggy Lyon. Ties us up. Eight games apiece. And both players have broken out three times in this set. People love it. Yeah, I do too. Well, you're a people. Yep. Yeah, I'm not pulling necessarily for one over the other. I'm just, I like the excitement and the energy of it. I'm telling you what, this is about as big a crowd as I've ever seen in here because all three tiers of the upper bleachers are full. Yep. Both sides. And all the heads are down table here. Now he switched sides, okay? Four balls, a wing ball. Missed. Oh, an ugly kiss, but oh, he didn't scratch. Something went in, Danny. He's got a shot if something went in. He can make the one. It's in hit, but he can make it. He's close enough to hit it good. <laughs> that would have been a little upsetting if the cue ball went. 
Yeah, it's, it's actually more fun this way. Well, he doesn't want to run into anything when he cuts the one. The reason I'm saying that is the eight looks like it's in the path. Mm-hmm. Nope. Good shot. Mm-hmm. You didn't want to be that close to the side pocket. He's smiling, too. Yeah, he's good here. He's smiling, <laughs> pounding his chest. Who cares if you lose? He's still got your loose. Got a, he's got a chance to beat the great Van Boning in a real uh, serious match. He's got to go forward. You went forward nicely. Yeah, a little short. I don't know about that. I think he can roll it in and, and still keep the angle. Oh, no, he's he's going to have a tough shot next, but he's going to draw one rail. Right, on the ball before, he couldn't play it with much different speed because the nine gets in there real easy and bumps the cue ball. So he had to kind of take that speed and settle for less than the optimum angle here. Yeah, he's happy to be right here. Oh, yeah, he can draw across. That's a nice shot. Yep, went oh, right in clean. Real good. Oh, and he got real good. Got the angle so the cue ball doesn't lay on the long rail or side. Yeah, long rail, and he can draw back right to about where he's at now. Would be ideal, and just free of the cushion. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's out. That was a nice shot, too. That was one of those in-between shots. That wasn't max effective draw, but that was a little stun power draw. Alex can play this in the far corner or the side pocket, speaking of the eight ball. So he'll just roll this in. Check this angle. Yeah, you got the right angle to go to the nine. Side pocket shot yeah. here. Little soft draw. Help. <laughs> Alex. Alex is making some gyration. Fourth break and run out of the match. And he defeats Shane Van Boning. Shane smiles and looks him in the eye and gives him a real manly type shake. Proud of him. Well. What'd you say about Hart for this guy? Oh, he's got Hart. All the Hart on earth. Great match, great comeback. There'll be a few minute delay, so for right now, Danny and I are going to be signing off. Thank you again for sitting in with us, and so long for just a while.
Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X-Shocks dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters.